The Washington Post, the Indian Express and various other publications, international and domestic, have been reporting on uh, the possible US-China trade war and if at all that happens, how do things impact India? So here's the whole story. Last month, uh, Trump had um, announced tariffs, 25% on uh, steel and 10% on aluminium. Uh, the EU was really angry about it. They were like, what the hell, dude? So they retorted uh, with, with a tariff on, uh, on US imports, especially from Republican-run states and swing states. Uh, uh, Harley-Davidson probably get affected. Uh, now, after that, Trump went ahead and announced a tariff on close to 1,300 uh, products imported from China, uh, 25% or so. And uh, now China got angry and said, hey, what the hell? And they announced a 25% um, tariff. Uh, the, the entire amount will be close to $50 billion or so. And uh, this will affect um, soya bean farmers, especially from Midwest states, Iowa and a few more which had actually voted for Trump. It may also affect uh, Boeing a little bit and basically companies that, expo uh, that, uh, companies that need aluminium and steel. Uh, now, some analysts are saying that this could turn into a full-fledged trade war, but I don't think uh, that's going to happen because uh, Trump is just fond of kabuki theatre. He's all about drama. Basically, the federal law that Trump has used um, to announce this tariff requires that his administration does consultations with China and China comes to the negotiating table. Also, China is likely to uh, appeal to WTO, uh, to the Dispute Settlements Committee. And if that happens, it's likely that uh, things are going to go well for China. Uh, in the long run, if uh, whatever these two countries are claiming, if they actually implement it, in the long term, of course, things are going to be better for the US. China does have more to lose. But in the short term, because China holds, I think, uh, close to one point uh, trillion dollars uh, of US Treasury bonds, if they sell them, that could severely impact the US economy. Uh, also, it's not in China's interest that its relationship, uh, its trade relationship with the US is sour because um, especially if Boeing is affected and um, China reduces uh, imports of uh, aircrafts and raw materials from the US, uh, even though its own companies are doing very well in this industry, they just can't make up for the kind of demand that Chinese uh, companies in the aircraft space and the kind of demand that Chinese consumers have. I mean, they're flying around all the time. Uh, so basically, if this happens, it's not good for anybody. In the short term, it could be good for India because if India gets into the soya bean market, it could start uh, a better trade relationship. It could export more to China, more soya bean to China because uh, China imports close to 100 uh, million tons of soya bean and most of that is for domestic consumption. However, if the US is impacted, then the US Fed is likely to take interest rates uh, higher, faster than they would have otherwise. Uh, this will happen because if um, products in the US become more expensive, importers will transfer uh, those um, costs to consumers, prices will go up and the US Fed will have to take some action. Now, this will be bad for the Indian uh, banking and finance sector because we're already under a lot of pressure because of NPAs. Uh, but as far as my take goes, I think it's all a bit of drama. Things will get sorted out and according to our guy Ross, if China comes to the negotiating table, they will leave with a good negotiated deal. That's it from me. Have a good day.